Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Uh, in this episode we want to talk with Durort about uh, centering. And we talk a lot, we practice a lot of centering physically when we do the techniques like having a stable base and, and all these kind of things that come together. But there are also other aspects of centering, like uh, emotionally or, or uh, centering your mind. Uh, so, so let's have a look at this and, and we'll discuss a little bit about these different aspects and how they work together in Aikido. Okay, so let's talk about centering first, um, because centering might mean different things to different people. Um, let's just say, for example, uh, being physically centered. When you think about being physically centered, what do you think of? Um, a lot of people think of being balanced, being comfortable, uh, being in a good position, being in a good place, being stable. So these are a lot of different things uh, that we might think of when we're centered. So let's use those. Um, and we can talk about being centered physically, like I just mentioned, uh, but we have all these different physical um, aspects to you know, how we are positioned physically. Okay? We can also talk about being um, centered emotionally. And that might look or, or feel slightly different than the physical realm. Um, but we can give a talk about that. So, you know, what would it be to be emotionally centered? Does it mean that you go way off into all directions with your emotions? Or are you able to come back to a place where you feel comfortable at home, so to speak? And then we could say the same thing about uh, the mental or the mind. Uh, whenever we get into a conflict, uh, as we often do in different situations with our lives, um, do we have a tendency to you know, act uh, impulsively, just thinking about all the different scenarios that could go on and it just doesn't stop and we tire ourselves out by thinking of so many different things? Or is it possible to stay centered uh, in the moment and just actually be with what's happening? So um, we'll take a quick look at this for the moment, but uh, we'll also maybe go into some more specific videos later on. So let me just give you a very quick exercise here. Um, we can just practice this actually quite easily, and it looks very simple, and it is actually. So in this sense, I just, I'm just going to ask my partner, um, Marchen, to give me a slight push and just to bring me off of my center, or essentially in this, in this particular situation, to start to bring me off balance, where I feel like uh, I almost need to take a step, right? This doesn't feel like a place where I could live. I don't feel centered here. I don't feel at home. I don't feel comfortable. So when he lets go, I'm just going to allow my body, my system, to come back to a centered place. Now, is that difficult? No. But when you practice it and you, you look at it, then you'll find that no matter which way you're pushed or pulled or whatever, if Marchand will push me in a different way, right, down here, and I allow it to just kind of let me take, take me off balance, right, and maybe I even almost fall a little bit, but somehow I'm going to find balance. Somehow I'm going to become centered into a place where I feel more comfortable, where I feel at home, okay? And the most important thing here is to recognize what it's like when you come into a physical centered place. Okay? And we could also talk about being in a centered place uh, in relationship to my partner, which would mean like, if we're in a conflict, this might not be a great centered place to be. Okay? For lots of different reasons. There are lots of things that could happen here okay? in a physical confrontation. Now, if we're looking at a physical confrontation, then maybe a better, more centered place, which is more at ease for me, might be a little bit more of an angle. Okay? And that's just an example. But there could be many, many other ways. Okay? And even if I get pushed off of center in a conflict, okay, part of coming back into center is getting out of center. So if he pushes me, and I discover somehow how to come back into center, Okay. And this is actually a very natural process because when we walk, we're always going off center, coming back into center, off balance, back into balance. Okay. So this is a very natural process. Okay. And the only way to discover coming back uh, into a centered place is to be off center. Now, 
let's take a look at what it means very quickly to possibly be emotionally centered. Okay, if we're in a conflict, and he starts to yell at me. Hey, what what, you, man, what are you doing here? Why, why are you coming in my way? What? I, 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 I don't know what to say. And, and, or else I go, I, I, oh, I, well, okay, you're right. Um, and so emotionally, um, I, I break away from what feels comfortable. I either go to a place where um, I feel like I'm in submission, or I go to a place where I try to run away emotionally, or I cut off emotionally. Um, all these different sort of mechanisms of defense that we usually go to, that our system usually goes to. But what would it be like if I could actually emotionally just be here and available and just appropriate? Okay, if he's screaming at me and talking hey, to man. me, like, hey now, what's going on? And just to be able to stay with him without necessarily um, falling into some sort of uh, extreme pattern of emotion or letting it take the, uh, over my system. Okay? So now if we talk about one more aspect, the mentally, okay? and we're going to go briefly over this, but if we're in a conflict, and now this is, we'll take it to a slightly different um, situation here, and whoever I'm in conflict with, so let's say Marchin, is, has his point and is upset uh, for whatever reason. He, he is trying to explain the situation. And um, so, I don't know, he's trying to... Hey, why are you getting in my way here? Well, because I was here. And you know what? And, and I was already going this way. And I don't know what you're doing. You don't have no right to be here. And, and so if, I going, uh, if I'm going into a long story and going into different uh, extreme directions with the way I'm thinking, then um, it's hard to become, uh, it's hard to stay uh, with what's happening, okay? So if actually I stay more with, with him and actually listen and, um, and actually stay present with my partner, and in this case, maybe being present would be closer to what, what we might call being centered, okay? And so, with that, if we are able to be present, then we can stay actually in, a, in an appropriate relationship and appropriate thinking uh, with our partner because we can listen to what's going on and respond more effectively because we are actually um, in touch with what, what our partner uh, is saying.